I put Janae in shoes for the first time. Uh oh. Today I'm getting baptized. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Elise, what's special about today? Today I'm getting baptized. I'm so excited for you. And we have some special guests who came in to see it. A lot of special guests. Who? Grandma and Papa, Granny and John, Puppy Keith, oh, and Puppy Rod, and all our family. But some couldn't come. Ah! All right, go get your baptism dress on. So someone is adventuring up the stairs. We're still standing close by though because she falls a lot still. Come on, up to here. Good job. Keep going. Just push those legs up. So Elise picked out a baptism dress. I absolutely love it. Thanks. You look adorable. Thanks. How do you feel about everyone being here to support you for today's special day? Just makes me feel happy that they're coming to my baptism. It's a really special thing. So one of the things we believe is that baptism is an opportunity to show the world our faith and belief in Jesus Christ, to follow his example, and to make a promise with God, a promise to try to follow the path and the teachings of Jesus Christ. And I'm glad that I'm doing it. I'm really proud of you. Oh, good job, Laura. It sounds so good. Yeah. <laughs> it's called improvisation. Awesome. <laughs> I was really good at the piano. Are you excited? It's your big moment. Well, it's really special to have so much of our family with us here today for Elise's baptism. And it just reminds me of my baptism when I was a little girl. I was baptized when I was eight years old. And through my life, it's just been a great reminder of choosing to try to follow Jesus Christ's example. So we're here at First Watch celebrating Elise. What are you gonna order? I'm gonna have French toast and hot chocolate. They had something called the bacado, and it's like bacon, avocado, scrambled. Sounds good. You can't go wrong with the words bacon and avocado. And I can't decide. I'm hungry and I want to eat everything on the menu. Thank you. Hot chocolate. Hey. There's Jeremy spaces. ordered a morning meditation. It's good. It's orange, lemon, ginger, and guava. Does it feel very good? <laughs> <laughs> It's a fun time when you're at a red light and your mom, there she is. is, sitting over there. It was actually funny. We were just like staring at her creepily and she didn't notice for like 30 seconds. It was, it was a good time when she realized we were here. The next on the agenda is Isaac's first basketball game. He's super excited. So the hardest thing for Isaac about being in San Diego is that we were missing all of his games and practices with basketball. He's so excited to be back into it. You made it! So I put Janae in shoes for the first time. Uh-oh. And she's been mesmerized by them. You're the best little cheerleader ever. Oh, yeah. Except for this little nugget of joy. Go, Isaac. Those are so funny. What are those? Go, Isaac. There she is. We need to get her some of those squeaky shoes. Oh, that would be good. My 
favorite part was the part that most surprised me. The first part where they had us run out. That was awesome. I did not expect that at all. Shocked. Yeah. Well, you played really well. Good job. They're doing the luge with Papa Keith. <laughs> So we've been having so much fun watching the Olympics and we're having some family over tonight for some pizza and the figure skating is on and we're gonna watch it. Let us know in the poll, have you been watching the Olympics and do you like it? Only one that plays the black keys. That's it. So Caleb's bike has been having a problem and since Papa's in town, we're having him look at it. So what was wrong with it? Um, there was two of these, these, oh. and this side, and there's supposed to be one of them. Interesting. So back in the day when Papa was a teenager and a young adult, he worked in a bicycle shop and so he's always our resident bicycle repairman. Did you ever do stuff like this when you were working as a bike? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Folks would have problems. Ooh, I want to be a scientist when I grow up. That's a cool thing to be, a scientist. Caleb, what do you want to be? Maybe like a builder, NFL player. Great jobs. For dinner tonight, we're doing pizza. We did bacon and pineapple. Like actual bacon, not ham. What do you think? You did the chicken one. So for a long time our kids only wanted cheese pizza and I'm so happy that they're graduating out of that where they want to try the other pizzas with other fun toppings on there. So we might not get a cheese pizza next time. <laughs> So you've been watching the Olympics. Yep. You ready We're to get out be there? Ice go do it. They're doing figure skating. Very nice. <laughs> Is that your figure skating? Oh, are these the moves? <laughs> All right. So first up for the United States, Elise and Luke. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh, that will be a deduction of a half a point. The heart ending from Korea, Isaac and Allison with their. Oh, whoa! <laughs> there it is. Very good. Ooh, onto the knees. Whoa! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that the end? Yeah. Woo! We are playing the game Timeline in Partners. This, this is like the nerdiest game. You have to try to put in order when things were invented and put it correctly in the timeline. All right, Jeremy, which one do you want to do? The invention of the combustion engine, the invention of the Zeppelin. This game is oddly intense. Oh, I'm getting nervous. They got it. They got it. They got it. We are on our last. We're about to win the game. Hopefully you don't jinx it. Will they win it? Pat, you need electricity. All right. Pull it. 1837. Yeah! Looks like the kids made a short track down here and they're working on their speed skating. Isaac's coming around the inside trying to make a pass on Caleb. Can he do it? He comes in! So we're ending the night watching more of the Olympics and we hope you have a wonderful night. <laughs> you guys want to make giant kisses? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Caleb has his treasure hunt ready for us. 